India's third navigation satellite is up in the orbit. Our PSLV has done it again. This is the 28th flight of our PSLV and the seventh flight of its extended version. And the injection has been very precise. The entire team that made this possible, the past and present, needs congratulations. And I have with me the Honorable Minister of State, Dr. Jitendra Singh. I would request him to say a few words, then I would introduce the mission executives who led the entire activity. And then I would request the captains of the ISRO team, the directors of the major centers, to tell us about what is in store for the next few months in terms of the launch vehicles, PSLV, GSLV, GSLV Mark III. Chairman, Space Commission, Chairman ISRO, Secretary, Department of Space, Dr. Radha Krishnan, the entire ISRO team, all the eminent scientists to be entrusted with this task of contributing to this achievement. And some of the lesser mortals like me are blessed ones to be witness to your historic achievement. It also gives me pleasure to note that the launch today also marks putting in the sky the third navigational satellite. And as I understand with the fourth navigational satellite scheduled to be in the month of December, we would have our own navigational operational system in place, which I believe would be very much in keeping with the target placed before us by the Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi, the award objective, the dream of make in India. And I'm sure all the countrymen would be proud to realize, and I'll be proud to report back to the Prime Minister that we have actually, through the medium of space technology, entered into a phase of make in India. While sitting over here, it was just passing my mind that in a period of just over four months that this government has been in place and I have had the opportunity to be associated with this department this June for the PSLV 26 when we had the privilege of uh, listening to highly patronizing, inspiring words from the Prime Minister of India. We were again here on the 23rd of September when the whole world was watching us with an abated breath for the Mars Orbiter Mission, Mangalyaan, and we are again here today. And as India moves forward to become a world leader, I'm sure in the 21st century, any leadership role in the world has to be essentially based on very sound scientific foundations. And I'm glad at least in the area of space, we have emerged as world leaders. And on this historic night intervening 15th of October and 16th of October 2014, 
when many of our countrymen may be in deep sleep, I'm sure when they wake up in the morning, they'll wake up to a very bright, glorious, optimistic morning to learn that we have achieved it by our own efforts, by our own endeavor. I pray, I wish all of you would be blessed